and welcome to the Bee Pete beekeeping channel where we love to do everything beekeeping. We are doing hive inspections. It is the 17th of July. I was just watching a wasp going in and out of the hive. So tut tut, it flew through a whole load of bees, which was just a bit crazy. And so I think uh, hive reductions are going to be in place for this colony also. But we are on colony number four. Uh, sorry to waffle. Here they go. They're cooking. The bees are kind of like garden. There's bees all over the place. I'm surprised the wasp literally got through the middle, the very middle. Coming in nice and slowly. They're probably quite heavy. Bit of an angle, so I assume full of honey. Lovely new bees in there. So about four weeks ago, uh, we took their queen out um, because they were starting to get a bit big and as they were getting big they were running out of space and I found a charge play cup that charge play cup that was obviously going to cause a problem if they were to swarm so moved Queenie over and she formed colony number eight I think and I so said that was all good there but yeah, these are coming in in nicely I like it right Let's get into it. So we've got brood box, uh, we've got super super, there's no tin excluder in between the two, uh, just because I needed them to draw everything out and they seem to be very slow when there was a queen excluder stuck in the middle. So they're a bit quicker at it now. Pop the top. Just the top down. Hey girlies. Goes all the way up top. Let's see what's happening. The lovely calm at the minute, but I'm not convinced that this is going to be the, the end result. And the smoke had died like on column number one, so it's actually started raining. Right, so uh, make sure she's not on the lid. There's a chance that she might actually be all the way up here because it's at the top of the column, it's nice and warm. So, frames marked with the yellow dot, cockcomb frames. So that's what we'll be taking the cut comb from this year. It's um, predominantly it's probably going to be blackberry, I reckon. Quite good. Uh, right, so that's cut comb, no bees, no no drawing. Um, that's not cut comb, but this is cut comb. Uh, let's just try and push that. In fact, that is cut comb as well in there, but it's right, not drawn. Uh, so we did take some cut comb out a couple of weeks back was there so took three bits out of that so they can they're sorting that out and just building it back up again they've tied it up good girlies well done I think I've done that let's have a look how did I squish them on sorry let's check this one this is cut down as well that one that way so I don't want to damage it that much if it's got going Jesus, that's a nice proper frame, although it's not even cut comb. That is certainly a good piece of cut comb. Right, cut comb, yeah, either side. Yeah, they've done most of the middle section, so a couple of cuts from there. Could come out at the moment. Right, let's put that to there. Yeah, I mean, they've started to draw out this one as well. So cut comb mm, might be viable. That side looks okay, that side looks okay in places, the thicker bit's probably better. Okay, and let's see what we've got. Let's move down. So there's like some stuff that is stuck together, but it's not, it's just the weight. Okay, lost a bit of balance there. Again, a bit more cut comb going on down here as well. Probably not. Yeah, they're drawing out that cut comb. Might not be ready this year then. Might have to chuck it in. in storage like that for, for winter. Okay, now we're drawing that out slowly. Be ready for the next couple of weeks at least. I might have a late set of cut comb. Cut 
on this. Yeah, so they're drawing that out, not as deep as it's going to be quite thin cut home, so not really viable for sale. And this one here, it's pretty good. In the end, but anyway, cut comb adventures. on this box just because the edge is a little bit damaged. Right, let's pack open this. Yeah, I shouldn't have been able to take that, I? Really? I'll return that in a minute. Okay. Right. Okay, there's certainly a decent bit of weight to that. Right, so in here, I took four frames out to put them into hive eight. This is um, a few new frames scattered through the middle of this. Okay, that's one of the half frames because I ran out of 14 by 12 foundation. Nothing to write home about on that one. Fields, this lovely double couple frame things that weighs an absolute ton full of stores. It's gonna do them some good. We certainly got good quantities of phenoms on here. Next one, new comb, worn out. Sticking stores in it, it's all good. Next one looks like existing comb. Yes, and it's stacked, stacked with stores. Uh, sort of pick up there, but it's probably an old one. Nout knit. And on the other side, we've got stores here as well. All good. There's a whole load of drones. Why are there so many drones on here? Look at that. There's all drones. There's hardly any, any girlies. frame. Good, I would expect to see brood. What is the, what is that doing just there? There's a super siege cell smack in the middle. Uncharged, nothing in it. Slightly confused, just because if they haven't got any eggs, then they can make any um new queens to borrow another frame of eggs from one another one there's another one there as well I just got another one uh, there are eggs there are eggs through here maybe they've just created maybe she just got mated and as she got mated, they were still creating the play cups. I mean, they're ranking here as well. They are, yeah, they are central to the bottom of the frame. So that's probably the fact there is a a mated queen in here rather than um main worker. I am gonna get rid of I am gonna get rid of those super procedure cups. Yes yeah, so there's the second one that I saw. It's on the other side but there's nothing there, there's no eggs on that side. There they are. But there are eggs. There are eggs well positioned. Mm. Maybe it is lane worker. I mean there's nothing in these.
and they're not standing up that well those eggs okay so my bee might need a frame of eggs I might give them a frame of eggs because it's going to take them a while to to sort out the situation and potentially won't get a mated this season there's so many drones in here as well Nothing in the side. So we've either got a really badly mated queen or she's a dub one. Nope, can't see anything in that. Quite a lot of bees kicking around here as well. So there's nothing for it. Right, nothing on that side. There's really nothing further out, is there? Right, so I think what I'll do is I will remove that other cell and I'll go and get some eggs from colony number one and pop in a frame of eggs into here just so if they want to build out the queen then they can There's a hole, there's everything, all different stages. So this is going to be the frame, hopefully that will help them. Okay. A clean on this end. Okay. With an X. Fingers crossed that's our frame that does it for us. There are enough bees in here to support the frame. Not worried about that. Bees now all over it. Bees all over me as well, it would appear. This little alarm pheromone as well. Wonderful. Right, so I'm going to just wrap this one up. Uh, so, this was colony uh, number four. Kind of not okay because it's got queen. It's got no queen in it, which is a bit tough. But uh, fingers crossed, those eggs will will come along um, and really help them out. So I'll check in. It will be ten days time now. Um, there are way too many bees here, uh, so I'm going to fun getting back to the car. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please do comment, rate, subscribe, like, share, uh, and everything else. Uh, I will see you on the next set of inspections, which is ten days. Uh, thank you very much.